So just a quick note, for my developer portfolio and tech blog, I use WordPress. And I chose WordPress mainly for the content management system portion um, for posting my articles. WordPress already has the database backend for you for your posts, comments, pages, etc. So it just makes it a lot easier to maintain as far as having an articles section on my website. And all the rest of my site is just static info. And I'm using the WordPress premium plan since it's the lowest plan that unlocks CSS code customization. However, of course, the CSS customization feature does not give you full access or direct access to the entire CSS code base for your site on wordpress.com. Essentially, you're just putting in CSS overrides to make the site look how you want, which is something you may run into as a developer, which is what inspired this video. <laughs> So I ran into an issue on my WordPress site where the default form text was too dark for my subscribe section. So if I type in an email here and the user can't see what they've input unless they highlight it, but you know, that's not the way we really want that to work. <laughs> and on wordpress.com, it doesn't give you the option to update the input text color in the block editor, which is WordPress's uh, visual updating tool. It only gives you the option to update the size of the text, but not the input, not the form input. And even with this, it's affecting the entire form. It's not just targeting the input. With WordPress being a content management system, of course, there's gonna be tons of CSS, selectors, classes, IDs, etc and I have to be able to locate what exactly I need to override in order to get the form to look and appear exactly how I need it. So a solution for this, in the Chrome browser, I'm gonna right click and inspect to pull up the developer tools and I'm gonna select the element that I want to target. In this case, it's gonna be the form input and it'll also show you information about the element in the little square box when you highlight it. Once the element is selected, on the right side in Chrome, there's a plus sign here that I'm gonna click on. With clicking the plus sign, you can see that it generated a new style rule with your targeted element. And you can test it out by adding some CSS. And this is a good way to know that you're on the right element. So you can see that these changes are affecting the correct element. So now I can copy my element and its appropriate ID, which is input with an ID of subscribe field. So that gives me exactly what I need to get the form updated how I need it. So now I can go into my WordPress custom CSS settings and add it under customize and additional CSS. So this is where I can come in and add on to my custom CSS. Right now, again, you can see that the input text is too dark. So it doesn't matter what I put in there, I'm not able to see what's in there. So I'm gonna go ahead and add in the custom CSS. And now, you can see the text. And I'm gonna save changes. So now when I have a guest on the site and they've enjoyed the articles and they say, hey, I want to stay updated with the blog post, they can actually see what they're writing in the input field. Yay, woohoo! So that's a way to find what you need when updating CSS, especially when you're dealing with a very large code base or something like a content management system. I hope you enjoyed this video today and see you in the next one.